Hello, so in this problem, we are given a motion diagram, the motion diagram of a drag racer. So, It looks a little bit like that. And um, essentially this represents like a, a picture and it is taken every two seconds. And we have the x-axis. And the units are meters. So it starts over here at zero and goes all the way to 800. This one over here is like a little bit over 700. So it's going to look a little like that. Yep. So, and here's the actual diagram. So for the first part, it says that um, you have to measure the X value of the racer at each dot and list the data in a table showing the position and the time at which it occurred. So this will be time equals zero seconds, uh, two seconds, four seconds, six seconds, eight seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds, and uh, 14 seconds. Maybe I have um, one more than I, than in the actual diagram. So um, what I did is, well, exactly what it says over there. I grab my ruler and I measured um, the X value, right? So the values that I got for different times. So over here is time, zero seconds, um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. The units are the same, so I will not write them again. And this is uh, the distance that I measured on the paper. And it is in centimeters, 0 0.4 centimeters, 1 1.3, 2.9, 5.6, 7.1, 8.4, 9.3 and 10.0. So this is, um, I guess this is the, uh, we can call it actual or paper, you know, paper position. And then what I did was to measure what is the distance between zero and 100 to get the, uh, the scale, right? So uh, from zero to 100, which is the first uh, tick mark over there is uh, 1.4 centimeters. So that is going to be the conversion factor. 
So if we want to convert these 0.4 centimeters, over here we can um, call it uh, maybe model, right? Model distance. This is going to be in meters. So we know that 100 um, model meters. So I'm just going to put it in quotation marks to, so that we remember that these are the model ones. Um, that's going to be equal to 1.4 centimeters. Right? And this is the actual distance on the paper. And so for the first one, it's 0 0.4 centimeters, uh, 0 .4 centimeters. Right, so we have the, this is equal to one. We're just multiplying times one. Um, this conversion factor 100 over 1.4 is 71.5 meters per centimeter. Right, so we multiply the 71.5, it's actually 71.428. Um, that's definitely beyond the resolution of my ruler. Uh, but we multiply times the 0.4 and we get uh, 28.6 um, meters. So, Uh, we look at the problem and yeah, it's possible. It's about a quarter of the way there. So I just have to multiply um, each one of these of my measurements times the conversion factor, 71.5. So I already did that. So this one is gonna be 92.9, this one is 207. 0.1, uh, 400, 0 0.0, 507, 0.1, 600, 0 0.0, 664, 0.3, 714, 0.3. And so if we look at the model on the paper, um, we do have one at 400, which is uh, this one over here. And we do have one at 600 exactly, right? Which is that one over there. So, you know, it's pretty good. So, this is the table showing uh, each position and the time at which it occurred. Uh, the last one is 714, which is you know, just a little bit over the, the tick mark over there. So pretty good. So this was part A. For part B, Make a position versus time graph. So we have the position versus time. So this is going to be the vertical axis, and this is going to be the horizontal axis. So we can put it like that. Um, let me make it a little bigger. I guess I should have. It's okay. Um, so time, zero, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. I do need a little bit more space. So you know, just remember that, well, I guess I can put the times, I'm, I'm gonna move the times over here.
So we have some more space. This is 12. And this is 14. And this one is going to go from zero. Mm. Oh, actually, I missed one. So this one will be 0, 0.0. Okay, that makes more sense. So this one will be zero meters. Um, time. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Okay, so I didn't miss one the first time. Okay, so we have uh, from zero to sixteen, and this one goes from zero to seven hundred. So I'm just gonna extend this one all the way over here. Uh, this is in time in seconds. And this is gonna be position in uh, meters. Okay, so I'm gonna say that uh, this is 800. So half of that. 400, half of that is 200, half of that is 100, 300, 600, 500, 700. So we have the distances here in meters and we have the times here in seconds. Okay, so the very first one, zero at um, zero meters at time zero, so it's here. And the time two is 28.6, so it's about, this will be half, and this will be a quarter, so I put it over here. And then four is close to 100, a little bit less, so over there. At six is 200, a little bit more. So over here, at eight is uh, 400, exactly. At 10 is 507, so 500 and a little bit more. At 12 is 600, exactly. At 14 is 664. So it's kind of in between and a little bit more. And at 16 is 700 and 14. So kind of over here. Mm. So it says that the graph should consist of dots that are not connected together. And so this is the, the final um, answer. So this is B and this is A. Uh, but you know, it's easier if you make the connection. Uh, you're gonna make it in your mind anyways. So you can see that the distance, uh, at least in, in the first eight seconds, it increases, the distance that you add to the previous distance increases, so the rate of change um, in this section. So it looks kind of like uh, moving up like that. So this is, this is accelerating, um, accelerating up. And 
then over here, you see that instead of going like that, um, it's kind of the opposite. So you have the inflection point over here. And so you have a D, um, a D acceleration. over here. And in addition to just being a cool problem because you can use a ruler, you know, high tech. The other cool thing about these problem is that you get to work out, you know, how the same information it can be presented as a motion diagram, such as, you know, the dots, and specifying the, the separation in the times, or you can just you know, plot it um, in a position versus time uh, plot. And later we will see that we can also represent this information as, um, as vectors. So cool problem, if you ask me. Thank you. <laughs>